So everyone, welcome to the power play with CJ Prospect Profile. Starting with focusing on JC Lapon um, of the Cam Luce Blazers and a draft eligible forward. Uh, he got passed over in the last two drafts, and then this year he's really broke out and established himself as a bona fide sniper in the Western Hockey League with 57 points through 34 games. Um, you know, really, he made the Canadian World Junior Team went pointless in five games and had 27 penalty minutes, so really brought the grit and the tenacity there. Uh, it's 46 penalty minutes in those 34 games. Um, after having 111 in each of the last two years up in the dub, um, had 65 points in 69 games last year and 21 points in 65 games the year before that. And uh, his first year had 13 points in 53 games, so he's been on an upward projection. Uh, trajectory, you know, every year in the Western Hockey League. Made Cam Loops as a, uh, on a tryout at 16, you know, kind of shocked a lot of people. And then, uh, you know, it was improved as plus minus, too. Went from minus 7, minus 26, not an improvement, but, you know, bad plus minus. And last year was plus 23, and this year is plus 23. So he's really um, coming around as an all-around player who's fought. Uh, you know, much bigger guys. You know, he's not afraid to drop the gloves. He's fought Keegan Lowe and uh, Damon Sevenson. That's hockey news. Um, you know, that was all I was article talking about that, but you know, he, they said you know he's not always going to win fights. He's not the biggest guy. He's five eleven and one hundred and uh, one hundred sixty pounds, so he needs to bulk up a little bit. But um, you know the fact he's willing to drop the gloves. They compared his his rise to the top from to Milan Lucic, who Lucic was undrafted in the uh, Western League Bantam draft. Ended up you know making the Vancouver Giants. Won at Vancouver. Was a second round pick. And then, uh, you know, now is one of the best power forwards in the NHL. You know, LaPon's not going to be a prototypical power forward. He can fight. He can play tenacious. He can give you sandpaper in the lineup. But, um, you know, being 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 it's really hard to be that prototypical Milan Lucic, uh, you know, sort of power forward. You know, Jerome McGinley's probably the best um, skilled power forward in recent memory. But, you know, it's tough to find the, the Lucic's and the, the Zach Cassians of the world. And, um, you know, LaPon's going to be... Yeah, almost similar to Ryan Hartman in that they play with sandpaper, they play with tenacity. They're not the biggest guys, but they make up for that in their, their dedication and their you know their forechecking, stuff like that. You know, bringing the intangibles. You know, he's a 96th ranked North American prospect according to Central Scouting. I can see a team taking a waiver on him a little bit higher than that because you look at Tanner Pearson uh, last year's Los Angeles Kings first round pick, mm -hmm. went 30th in the draft after going undrafted in the last two drafts. So he can, uh, you know, I think you see something similar. He's older, he's more mature. He'll, more seasoned, you know what you're getting, and I also get it to work for everything he has, so and he's going to continue doing that at the next level, and I'm really excited to see what kind of player he develops into. He's really an intriguing prospect up there with the uh, Cam Loops and the dub. Anyway, that's all in this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on JC LaPon of the Cam Loops Blazers. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.